All right, so we're actually gonna go through, so we're actually gonna go through an unboxing today. Commander Legends, should've probably opened plastic beforehand, but hey, you know, sometimes <sighs> when you do things on a whim, just, all right, let's toss that aside for now. All right, come up back here. Should we get the proper setup here? Boom. So, secret to this today is I'm actually going to be um, deciding my commander off of these packs. We, uh, everyone else did a draft, and I decided since I was getting a box that I would go ahead and uh, pick a commander out of here, and that's what I'm going to use for our Commander Legends episode. Let's get started on pack number one. Alrighty. <clears throat> Alright, little Dragon Mantle. Sanitarium Skeleton. Captain's Call. Strategic Planning. We're gonna have to be a little quicker about this if we're gonna go through. Alright, so let's see who's here. <laughs> Slow back Shaman. All right, now we're to the oops, we're to the uncommons. Little sunset pyramid, patron of the valiant, Quambage witches, nice. Kamal's will, so rare, and Brynlin, the moon kraken. Ooh, I like this. I like the fact that we're getting a bunch of. Just so many commanders. Makes it so much nicer. Uh, so we got Kamal's, were, <clears throat> Kamal's Will. is a rare. Ooh, all right. Another one of the Will cards. We've got a Kraken. So I'm actually going to keep my piles as the rare. Uh, yeah, let's do the rare. Some legendary creatures in the uncommons. I'm going to move the commons over here, actually. I'm off to the side. Rogue Rock. He's gonna be a great partner commander, especially for a zero drop. Foil, Scholar of the Ages, not bad. So I'm gonna put you there. Okay, not too bad for our first draw, truthfully. All right. I'll probably be uh, <clears throat> uh, cutting some of this eventually. Right. Let's go pack. Token today. Ooh, Monarch. I actually kind of might like that more than the one that we use, uh, that we used to use. Let's set that over here with the tokens. Another Dragon Mantle. Ooh, Ancestral Blade. It's not a bad card. Spectral Searchlight. Hmm. Huh. It's kind of a fun little card. Ooh, one of the diamonds. Ooh, you know what? Yeah, I'm actually going to have a little pile of diamonds, too. Okay, Entourage of Trust. All right, here we are. So, <clears throat> open the armory. Another Quimbash Witches. Horizon Scholar. Blasphemous Act. Yes. That is great. Kleth, Abomination of Lenoir. Ooh, and a foil Fire Diamond. Never commander under your control attacks, but a one would counter on it. That's not too bad at all. I like that. Good partner. Elf Horror. Villains Menace. Ooh, I have actually been thinking about building a uh, an elf tribal deck. So that'd be fun. All right, not too bad so far. A little Blasphemous Act. Great board wipe. In a uh, game Sterling and I were, when game were, I was playing against Sterling and some other guys, we. Uh, Sterling was digging deep for Blasphemous Act, but luckily he had put it in a different deck. I lucked out on that one. Viserys Seeker, okay. Looking good so far. Ooh, diamond. <laughs> Three. Phyrexian Rager. Brass Herald, all right, here we are. Just creature type. Pin and Blade. 
Intangible Virtue. Court of Bounty. Become the monarch. The beginning of keeping you put a land card behind on the battlefield. If you're the monarch, then you move to creature or land. That is going to be huge for my Omnath deck, my four color Domnath deck. Right. I apologize. I like to keep my piles pretty straight. So I'm actually going to move you guys here. My rare there. Arumi, the Dead Tide. Nice. Ooh, one of the pirates from this set. And a foil by Sarah Seeker. All right. Doing pretty well. Going to pack number four. Almost a sixth of the way there. Right. Treasure. Fireblade, raising. Okay. Yep. Seraph of Dawn, Dream of Flame, Angel of the Dawn. Oop. Ha ha. Alright, we're already four, <laughs> four out of five for the diamonds. This ain't too bad. Okay. Ooh, Reclamation Sage. Daring Saboteur. Just because we'll choose one if you control the commander, cast this spell, you may choose both. Alright, not too bad on that end. Ooh, your lock. Alright. You know, a lot of people have talked about decks built around him. Alright, another pirate theme. A bit of nice foil wielding welding sparks. Right, so, let's get through. so far that boss of attack has been the nicest pull. Come on. Yeah. Trying to be as gentle as possible. This is my first recorded unboxing, so you know. Spirit token. Okay. So, Thorn of the Black Rose. Sometimes the names just always get me. Okay, got another of the diamonds. Alright. Revenant. Vow of Lightning. Ooh, elf. Perfect. Nice elf theme. Promise of Tomorrow. Never get Junior Girl dies. Exile of the enemy. Step you control their creature. Sacrifice return. Ooh. It's fun. All right, another uh, another rogue rock as one of the commanders in here. Um, <laughs> I promise it tomorrow. Nice. Kamal, heart of Krosa, crushing vines. Another one of those great monocolored partners they put in here. All right. On to the next. I still don't know who I want to build around, and that's kind of be the, the biggest thing here, is who do I build? Okay. Ooh, Elf Warrior. I should keep track of those. All right. Dragon Egg. Life characters. Forceful Denial. Nice. I like that. Rupture Spire. There's a lot of conversations in my play group about Rupture Spire, whether it's actually good or bad. Um, we don't know. But, um, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, it, yeah, I can help mana, correct your mana, but the coming into play tapped is always kind of a big thing for us. Angelic Armaments. Nice. Shimmer Mirror. Explosion of Riches. Flame Can Herald. Commander spells you control have Cascade. All right. Let's put you there. Another really good one for um, Commander. Good partner one too. Okay. Nice. Keep going. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Treasure. Trusty pack piece. All right. And out of. Uh, ooh, there it is. We have, I believe now, fire, sky, merble, more sky. Ah, wait, are we missing? Ah, we're missing the green diamond. Okay. Well, hopefully. 
hopefully it will come out soon. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. Called it. Okay. Hunter's Insight. Burning Anger. Oh yeah. Gotta love a good arcane signal. Throw you up there. I'll take these off camera because no one wants to see the wrappers. People want to see the cards. Profane Transfusion. Exchange life totals and creating a horror. Ooh, Blim Comedic Genius and Slurk All Ingesting. And a Seer Lantern. Okay. Like it. Not too bad. Blim Comedic Genius. Again, another one of those kind of really good uh, commanders to build around with a weird mechanic. Definitely feel like they really went with weird mechanics in this, um, in this set. Alright. I apologize if the lighting is going off and on. It's uh, pretty darn cloudy today. Hopefully it'll rain. Ooh, that's a cool looking golem. I like that. Natural Reclamation. Okay. Dorsal Solvent. Oh, and Speaker. Pilgrim's Eye. Ooh, I like Pilgrim's Eye. Always could use another command tower. You know what? I'm actually. Nah, let's put them up here. Staples. The commander staples up here. Cast down. Fathom Fleet Sword Jack. Ingenuity Engine. Oh yeah, this is the one that has all the um, all the famous artifacts in it from different uh, cards from the past. Court of Cunning. Ooh, ooh, that's fun. Foil etched. Ghost of Ramirez de Pietro. Court of Cunning. And it's about to become monarch. Keep turning into multi cards. I like these. Um, I like these court cards that they've been doing too. Um, for monarch ability, since our play group really does play with uh, the monarch mechanic, it'll add a little extra fun to things. So, uh, yeah, we'll have our etched over here. Uh, ooh, another elf. Okay. Ooh, and another elf. Nice. Oh, that's my mistake. Starting to dig deep into this box. I don't know what I'm hoping for necessarily. Which is kind of the fun of it. This is truly just like, well, let's see what I get. Ooh, another monarch. Denizen. Intrepid Archaeologist, Supernatural Stamina. Nice. Okay. Oh. Well. Soldier Token. down, just to return on the legendary creature. Strength of the pack. Ha, ah, Wheel of Mia's Fortune. I would feel a lot better about getting that if it wasn't, if Keith hadn't just told us that he got uh, two of those yesterday. He got his a day early because his card shop's pretty cool with that. Mine texted me this morning. Ooh, Nevenral, Urborg Tyrant. I could potentially, ooh, I could build something around this. I'm gonna keep that one definitely in mind for my commander. Ooh, Verna, Chaos Bloom, Foil Etched. Might have to, uh, I need to remember if any of the guys are playing them. Okay. Ooh, and the Prismatic Piper. So I'm gonna do Foil Etched here and keep going. Two foil etch isn't too bad so far. 
Although, again, I do think Keith may have gotten one. Not that I'm jealous or anything, it's just that, you know, he got a jeweled lotus, so. Of course, I'm a little jealous. Okay. Volcanic Dragon. Codex Shredder. Trigger player mills a car. No, that's not too bad. Guilt Leaf Winnower. Non elf creature. Ooh, I like that for elf warrior. I think this is really just leaning into I'm gonna have to build an elf tribal at some point. Another captain, Mira, and prying eyes. Donglin regent. Ooh, permanent control of hexproof. That's a pretty hot ability. Or pirate and an elf scout. Partner. I think, given what I'm drawing so far, I either have to go with, I think I might have to go partner. Um, sadly, I'm not as familiar with building around a partner, so um, I've usually been kind of a, a one-track guy when it comes to the decks I've built. Well, hey, there's a little spoiler. So, cool angel, not bad, not bad. Okay, my Sarah Seeker. Commander Sphere. I'm gonna keep my staples up here. Cisse's Ring. High cost, but I mean, it's just like a four times worse soul ring. <laughs> Murder. Very fun in our group. Mindless Automaton. Demonic Lore. Kanji's Lieutenant. Body of Knowledge. Power and toughness of the number of cards in your hand, giving maximum hand size. This is going to go great in a um, couple of the decks that I have. Human Warrior, Jin Monk, Siani, Eye of the Storm. Okay, again, part mechanic. It's kind of coming in hot in this, uh, this box so far. I'm feeling most of them too. Doom Sir, Benevolent Blessing. Okay. Mindless Tom Tom, Grafted War Gear, Siren Store Tamer, Hall Breacher. <clears throat> Take that, Keith. <laughs> now I just need to get a jewel lotus. Um, Alright. Follow this Shadow Cup Familiar, Command Scroll of Medicine, Death Touch. God, these, uh, these partners, I'm, I am liking their abilities, but I worry about their their combat against some of the bigger commanders in this set. And again, isn't that kind of the point? They don't want it to be overpowered one way or the other. Definitely in the back, uh, I think we're getting close to the back half of this box here. ages okay supreme will I, I do like this counter not gonna lie fencing ace double strike hey why not Ooh, training center good good dual end okay jury master of the review probably butchering that very Okay. Right there. Right there. So clean up the piles. And on to the next. Ooh. Alright, the Salamander Warrior token does look pretty hot. Alright. We'll go through here. Aqueous form. 
You know, this is kind of underrated to me for a uh, common one drop. Corpse churn. Alright. Sifter worm. Turn to dust, always great. Thought vessel, always fun. Oh, yeah. So this was one I was really hoping to get to. Um, don't know if I would like to build around him just for mono green, uh, but he goes great in a lot of my uh, either lands matter decks or, you know, something where you really want to just have a huge uh, land advantage. So I'm really happy he came through. Him, Fim, Utineer. Interesting that they went with uh, Salamanders for this set. It's one of the kind of creatures they're bolstering. Junior creature center. Again, another just good partner. And a Molder Beast. good little artifact to have out um there are obviously going to be better ones but given that i'm going to be trying to build with a lot of what i get here um stuff like this is going to come very in handy for a draw engine for being that guy, but it's gonna take a picture. It's gonna be on cam, it's gonna be a uh, up there, but gonna... I don't have any sleeves near me. This was probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna put him right there. <sighs> Alrighty, let's get back to uh, some of the other, ooh, a foil command tower. I'm a big fan. Nostro, Voice of the Crags. Choose one. X is the number of spells you've cast this turn. So definitely a spell slinger. That's that would be different than anything I've built ever. Really, is a good spell slinger. Hans Eriksson. He looks like he belongs in Skellige. Remember Hans Eriksson's text was a brother. Ooh, I'm liking that too. Really liking that too. Oh, I really want to text the guys, <clears throat> but I gotta gotta make it through. Do with the fans. Another cool golem. Oh, apologies. Oh, Ruin my system. Okay. Skull of the stars. A lot of opal palaces in this one. Maelstrom Colossus. Ancient Animus. Nice. All right, monstrous onslaught. Deals X damage divided as you choose among number of target creatures where X is the greatest power. Okay. Victimize. Warden of Evos Isle. Another Court of Bounty. Not bad. Put you in the rare pile. Elephant Warrior. Supposed to be for you now. Ooh, it's a lot of strong. Each one is near creature. Not bad. Okay. Glacian Power Stone Engineer. Okay. Okay. God, I just love how many commanders they're giving you that you can build off of here. My goal here is, uh, I, I highly doubt it given that I've already kind of gotten my crown jewel. Um, Keith really, really wants a uh, foil edge file smasher. Um, I've heard he he'll he'll pretty much do anything to uh, to get one. Uh, sadly, I don't think it's coming. Just had that feeling inside. Then again, I didn't feel like I'd get you know 
a freaking jeweled lotus. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We've got a couple packs remaining. Alrighty, so we've got Interpret the Signs, Stinger Fling Spider, Good Old Fashioned Burnish Heart, Ember Wild Captain, a lot of, um, a lot of pirates. Maybe I kind of throw everyone for a loop and go full on pirate for this one. Speaking of, Drag of the Shipwrecker. Okay. Numa, Troga Chieftain, a warrior. Goblin Trailblazer. That's my foil. I think I've got maybe six left. We're already at, ooh, 25 minutes, okay. Might have to, uh, maybe I'll cut out the actual opening of each. Share the fold with the guys. Alrighty, ooh, that's a cool looking token. Copy. Okay. Sorry, Keith, not looking good so far. I like who'd, ooh, I do like Fertilid. Me and my elementals. I kinda really wanna build a dragon deck, but uh, you'll meet him soon, but McCoy, one of our good old friends, has uh, bought the Ur Dragon Precon, added a few things to it, but damn, does that thing just wreck in group matches. Okay, Vow of Torment, Scaled Behemoth, Orzhov Advocist, Chroma's Will. Choose one if you control a commander, cast a spell, you may choose both. Kind of like these uh, commander contingent cards. They're fun. Kadis, Embercloth, Familiar. Oh, it's the Gecko. Iktekik. Iktekik, Salvage Splicer. This battlefield, create a 3 3 colorless golem artifact creature token. Okay. Ooh, a foil, Scaled Behemoth. And a Prismatic Viper. Token Monarch. Elvish Visionary. We're going through Path of Ancestry. It's another staple. Annoyed <laughs> Altasaur. That's Judgment. Exile Target. That's ah, kind of a high drop. Although it is Exile. Lightning Rig Crew. First Response. Humble Defector. <gasps> Rings of Bright Earth. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna put you down here with my rare, rare collection. Ooh, another Averna. Hell yeah. Ha, <laughs> Elf Salamander Rogue. Oh, well, hey, they can go on to either my Elf deck or my Salamander deck. Nimrus, Suinus Trickster, Fairy Knight. Maybe you cast first spell during each one and turn like a top card of library. That can real that can get real disruptive. Lots and lots and lots of instants. Also you need to obviously include some uh, graveyard recursion for that. Another monarch. What do we got? Another prismatic piper. Just gotta move them out of the way. A lot of natural uh, reclamations. Painter Sphere. Nah, I, I know I have one in there. I should just move it over for my uh, staple deck. Staunch Throne Guard. Mask of Memory. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. That's right up my alley. Now here's my Seed Settle Brute. Necrotic Hex. Each player sacrifices six creatures. He creates two. Hmm. Ooh. One of the ones I'm thinking about does have a uh, zombie theme to it, so definitely keep that in mind. Ooh! It's the Sorcerer Bunny. That's a fun one. Alright, Breaches. Goblin Pirate. And the Ike Tech. Tekik. Tekik? Tekik? Alrighty, we are down to our last three. Soul 
token. Doomed operative. Spell that capsule. Wow, it seems like all the diamonds were up top. I haven't gotten one in a while. Workshop assistant. Fire sphere. Okay. No color. Feast of Succession. That's a fun one. Ordeal of Nylia. Nether Dual Land. Sadly, in the colors that I rarely play. Ah, darn it, Keith. Not looking good here. Never creature you control that's enchanted or attacks that creature gains double strike. Good Boros commander potentially um, might fit better into an Akiri deck versus like replacing Akiri. If you want to see how an Akiri deck can do, go check out our Zenith Rising deck where Keith pulls off some bullshit. Yeah, copy. And lots of elves. I am fine with that. Strength of the pack. Furnace celebration. Confiscate. Plague Reaver. At the beginning, your in step, sacrifice each other, creature you control, discard two cards. Alright, not bad. Bit uh, aristocrat. Ooh, war room. And pay life with a number of colors to commander, draw a card. Hmm. I'm gonna put that with one of these kind of things over here. Uh, Keskit, Flesh Sculptor. Sacrifice three of their artifacts and or creatures. Okay, not bad. Provost to a Legion. Want a white partner. All right, we are down to our last pack. Pretty good box. The uh, Jeweled Lotus and the Rings of Bright Earth are, uh, Bright Earth, are so on so far. Ooh, cool Elf Warrior. All right, come on. I believe in you. Okay. Whew, come on, come on, come on. I don't know, not feeling it on this one, but plus three plus two. Okay, for Hero's Blade. Lore Seeker Stone, draw three cards. Court of Grace. From the monarch, create. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Keith. Okay, but uh, unicorn with life gain. Mm-hmm. That's all me. And Tormund, the desecrator. Another zombie from mono black. I can definitely do something with uh, with a zombie theme for this. All right, guys. Well, uh, I think our haul for the day is definitely uh, these two bad boys here, along with um, getting those diamonds. Let's throw a blasphemous act in there, and oh yeah, hole breacher. Let's throw him out. I'll keep these showing. I'm gonna take a picture at some point to um, showcase everything. You know, gotta either come up with a thumbnail or something. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more content. We should have our uh, our Commander Legends game coming out shortly-ish. Uh, it's all dependent on when the other guys are able to kind of get all their cards, build their decks. Um, and then, of course, you know, the, <clears throat> the editing process is always fun. So uh, take a look at our other content. Go check out some of our best friends online and... Uh, See you guys in the next one. Peace.